Hey everybody, Charlie here. Welcome back to End Zone. And look at our school. Look at everybody just hanging out, learning things in their suits. <laughs> Everybody's got just these big suits on. Learning through their masks and their goggles with their on a limp arms as they walk. <laughs> oh, it's cool. These kids are going to grow up so fast in these suits. We even have a dead guy laying there. Might want to take care of that, actually. We need one of our... Hey, a hey, uh, cemetery. Can you... Uh, yeah, we're going to need you to go ahead and watch that side of the board, too. Thanks. Oh, that sucks. Well, uh, yeah, so welcome back, everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. I'm in the middle of building a decontamination post here to kind of help out with stuff since our markets don't have any of that. And uh, I'm also trying to build the Forester's Lodge so we can catch up on some wood. Even though it looks like I have a lot, um, it just, for some reason, stuff's not getting built very quick. And I, I think I need a more local source of wood. So we're going there. We are at our production limit for food. And if it wasn't a drought, we would probably be uh, over 65, 70,000 water as well. Most likely. We also have some people out in the wasteland, uh, some explorers. They uh, are running out of rations and they'd like us to get it for it. And in exchange for that, we're going to get seeds. And I'm interested to see what it is. We only have to make one more expedition ration. So I imagine if I speed time up just a little bit here, we'll probably get that ticked. There we go. All right. So they gave us a seed, apparently. Let's see what it is. Um, I guess we'll start with the orchards. Is it anything in the orchard? No, nothing in the orchard. Okay, what else can we grow? Is it in part of the fields? The potatoes and squash. We can grow squash. I guess we're going to grow some squash now. Because we can. So currently, we, we were growing tomatoes here. And then we have potatoes, beans, wheat, squash. We have tomatoes somewhere else, I thought. This is a cornfield. This is tomatoes right here. So, like, we're keeping a diverse diet, right? Or at least we're trying to. Keep this up 12, 13, etc. We want this to be rich food, right? And uh, we got over 500 colonists. And I'd like to make sure that they stay... I mean, we have tons of water, but I don't want them to have to walk clear across the map to get it. So, as long as this water tank is staying full, which it looks like it is... Eh, it looks like we're in pretty good shape there. Okay, good. So, rain's gonna start falling. I expect us to get, like, you know... I don't know, 30, probably 30,000 more water here in a couple of couple of seasons. I don't know. It's pretty extreme. And I want the decontamination post. Yes. I want you to provide it to, I think, all of these buildings. At least the two markets. Uh, at, at least the two markets. And then I probably want another one to hit these storehouses over here because we're not really doing a whole lot there. As far as decontaminating those. So let me put another decontamination post right about here ought to do it, actually. I'm going to pop it right there. And, you know, the roads are starting to get built, as you can see. Right? We've got uh, pretty much every road built now. They finally got on it. Feels pretty good, man. I've lowered it down to 40 builders. i got 34 settlers to kind of take people's positions as they go. And we're just maxed out on everything, really. Like, we have so much abundance and supply. I feel like uh, if I was going to play again, we would go definitely, like, try a hardest difficulty kind of thing and see what that's all about. Uh, but for now, I think what I'm going to do is I want to go plan an expedition to the nuclear power plant here. Um, apparently, there are survivors from another end zone looking for a new home. All right, so we're bringing in more people. Which is good, because I've got lots of houses, and I think I'm going to have to build several more for bringing in even more people. Looks like 83 new people are coming in. Oh, good. I wonder if they're... I think they're probably not educated, right? So, let's get the sturdy house thing going. And we'll just... Yeah, right along here. Single file now. Everybody just come on in to our new home to their new home, I guess. Uh, we'll flip this over. Kind of figure out how to line it up here. Uh, we're going like... Do we put the... 
you put the plants behind it again? I think I also have this one, right? Yeah, this one needs to go. That's just a weird looking hedge. We need that to go. But I'm going to have the, the roads, which are now all paved. Well, not all of them. I mean, there are some unpaved roads, but... Uh, let's go another sturdy house here. You know, I actually think I do want to do the decorations behind them again. So we can hit this with uh, flower beds in the back here, like uh, this. And then yeah, right next to the road. Do it again and again. Kind of like this. Perfect. And then we'll hit the houses behind that. And I think I want to do it as far back as possible. Even if that means it doesn't line up completely. So we can always do decorations and stuff. But I'm going to go like this. You know. Uh, yeah, I think I'll, I'll go like this. There we go. Because I, I don't want to get in the way of that road. And then there. Cool. Let's get the road put in like that. Little road down that way. Perfect. So welcoming new people. 83 new people. I, I, I kind of feel like, like in one sense, I feel like we need a new school, right? Advanced school. Because we have two advanced schools. But that means we can only, like, go through class you know we can only put 60 kids through class and we've got over a hundred children the other school is only teaching 18 do they do like alternating schedules or something because like we have so we have 12 teachers and i don't i don't know you know i'm also noticing we're a little bit low on the uh, charcoal now We've got tons of the iodine pills, so I'm gonna switching this over to coal. And we're gonna ramp up our coal again, because when we start introducing new water towers, we start using a lot more coal, right? And then I'm, I'm still on the hunt for seeds. Uh, I went ahead and got burial band because they asked me to, as sort of like one of those, hey, we got, we got to do this over here, chief, kind of thing. So I'm gonna go do mining tunnel now. Allows me to put another coal mine in if I need to. I can probably put that uh, maybe right in here, like next to this one. Um, or, well, yeah, it's not gonna fit in here. Yeah, yeah, so we're, we're definitely gonna use this mountain. I think maybe here will be the other coal mine. And then it's, you know, it's right next to the decontamination post and it's, it's pretty close to this. And then I, I think I wanna also get just a little bit more water. We're at 45,000 water, we can do better. We can always do better. I don't think you can ever underestimate just how much water you need. There's a tendency, especially for newer players, to just, you know, underestimate how much water they're going to use. And I, uh, I'm not going to be one of those. I went through that phase when I was a newer player. And it's like, holy crap, we need lots of water. So I'm just going to keep doing this. Just spamming the rainwater collectors. It's really strong to just spam these. And as long as it's near, you know, water towers so that you can handle it. You got to be able to handle the load. But if you can handle the load with enough water towers. Then you're going to be in great shape. We'll put another one of these wells back here maybe right behind it and then we're gonna of course lay in all these roads too so these are gonna go up like this gonna go a little bit zigzaggy here but all the way over that's already made good we're gonna have this go over too perfect and like that outstanding so this is a heavily contaminated rain we're covering the rainwater collectors and now that we have lots of food and we have lots of water, we can be more picky with when we cover and don't cover if we want to. Um, for example, I can choose to have everything covered even if it's a little bit of a contaminated rain. I'm probably not gonna do quite that far, but. Uh, field of work, let's make sure that we are hitting, I guess, all of these. 
decontamination kits. Is there any resource I'm low on besides coal? Not really. Maybe power? We're going to be at a deficit at night, but we've had we've added a lot of things, so I'm wondering if our batteries last us all night now. That might be something to look at. I've also been upgrading most of our warehouses. So these are all upgraded warehouses now. I think there's a couple I've missed. This one here. You can do that one. And then this one here. Nope. It's this one. And this one. Yep. We're going to go ahead and get those taken care of too. And then some of these scrap yards also no longer have any scrap in their field. In their area. This is the hospital. I think we've already... Maybe we'll go like this. But I, I don't think we need to go back here. Looks like we can. Yeah, 87 more meds, 60 more electronics, and 60 scrap is still here. We can just send a bunch of people to go get it, I guess. Uh, you're sick, so that's going to slow us down. So we'll just send everybody here and just go. It's a resource to exploit, so you don't even need to give them the rations. They just walk over there, and they'll just get it. They'll just do it. Look at this city, man. It wasn't long ago where we were really small. Oh, hang on. This balloon just landed. She's back again. This lady will not leave us alone. She loves coming here and trading. She loves it. It's like we are her favorite people ever, you know? It's kind of nuts. I'm going to give her some hemp. This is a fair trade. I'll give you some hemp. And in exchange, you give me 36 rad suits. And I think that's kind of it. I don't need your plastic or anything. So thanks a lot. We'll give you the hemp and uh, you give us the rad suits. We're at uh, 44 in storage. So, And if we ever run out of them for any reason, you know, there's 173 more masks. If we're looking at uh, terrestrial radiation, I mean, again, there's no reason for anyone to not have at least a mask right now, but mostly pretty much everybody's in a rad suit if they need it. And you know, the whole place is this way. There is a couple of areas like right over here where it's very red, right? And these are gonna start popping up a little more often, but they usually are in very small spots. There's not usually a big problem with that, like spread out everywhere. And then, uh, you know, obviously our water and stuff is, is clean. So we're spreading that around. Amazing, Chief. Oh, my God. Look at that settler count now. We've managed to meet all their demands, and they're on their way to the settlement. Every helping hand makes us stronger. Is this the part where I have to do more for the meds now? Available to the outlanders to help them. Uh, yeah, shelter, campfires, all that stuff, right? So I need one more campfire. <sighs> I also need some hard liquor. Let's switch our pubs to hard liquor then. I wish there was a faster way to do this. But you have to find one pub. I'll upgrade this one too. You got to find one of your pubs. Here it is. And uh, you switch it to hard liquor. Then you can cycle through them, but you still have to find one. And I'm noticing they're not all connected to power. I I have the roads done now. I should be looking at connecting all of these to power now. So let's see. Power poles are running through here is where I'm... I'm chosen to do it since I didn't have roads over here at the time but I am going to want to get this re uh, like put right back in where the roads are so it looks like this might be an okay spot and then I can get it back on the road here right there how to do it and then to here and then to here yep and then we'll just take it all the way through to here and then in here like so and there and i like this system way more than that transformer system in aftermath it's like it just feels more natural to lay pole poles in right it's very nice i have to figure out where they are though they, they don't highlight very well i mean they just enough to where the, the, it'll be it'll work but I wish it was more obvious. There, and then we need to get the water towers hooked up too. Here we go. This will do. This will take care of all of them. 
Boom. Probably not the well, though. I want to I wanna hook up the well as well. The well as well. Yep, I said it. Let's get somebody else on the well there. And then we also want to come down here to the hunter's hut. If possible. Did I just lay down two poles? I think I clicked it twice. Yep, sure did. That's weird. And we should go like that. And I think that takes care of it right here. Okay, so all that stuff's going to get taken care of now. Radioactivity, radioactively contaminated water. Yeah, we're just, we're going to do it. It's fine. This is just like, hey, produce coal and, and get water. And we're already doing that. It's fine. Although there will be a drought. So most likely we won't complete this objective until uh, season 225. Season 225. Amazing. Let's get another campfire in. And I guess we're going to put it over here. Ooh, it fits in over here, though, right next to the market. Me likey. Put it right there. I know that really doesn't help the, the housing rating, though. Yeah, that doesn't help the houses. Let's, let's do it to where it helps the houses. We'll put it way back in the back here like this. There we go. And then, is this enough room for a shelter? Yes, it barely fits, but it's such a... Oh, it's so snug. Look at this beautiful snugness. Bam, it's like I planned it. I swear I didn't, but it's like I did. Okay? Just go with it. It's as if I did. All the way, like... Uh, almost, yep, there. And there. And then maybe we'll reach this pole back just a little bit. We can actually go all the way back here if we want to. Yeah. And then I can connect you two up here. And then have this pole go over this way. Like that. And then it can go like that. And then that's going to connect up to the rest of it over here at some point. Pretty close. Yeah, right here. This will be... This is our now our connector pole for both. That connects the whole grid. Both areas. Very nice. Okay, let's get the campfire built, which they just did. That's five out of five. We just need to make enough hard liquor. All of our pubs are currently focused on it. I think. Yep, all of our pubs are currently focused on it. And we need to produce a lot more than this, so we need to up our production. And let's take out the target here. Yeah, we want everybody to bring back all the stuff. Just bring it all back, please. Thank you very much. And then we'll rip the place down, rip it apart. Trader at the trading post. You again. You just can't leave me alone, can you, Susan? I think I think she's stalking me. She's like the only trader I ever see now. None of the other traders can even get here. Wow, that's a lot of medicine for rad suits. That is a lot of medicine for rad suits. Uh, that's a lot of scrap for rad suits too. You know, you're not giving me very good deals anymore, Susan. How about I give you some raw food? I know you're not... Yeah, you're not doing too well in your settlement at the moment. <laughs> Are things not doing too well in your settlement at the moment? It's not exactly much for what I offered you, but... Well, it'll work out in the end. Only it shouldn't happen too often. Should we close this deal? Yeah, so she's she's okay with it because of our reputation, but she'll it'll drop down if we, uh, you know, shortchange her ever anymore. I like it, though. I'm, I'm going to do it. Because, like, we can get some other traders to come in here, too. Okay, I'm just saying. You don't have to be the only one, Susan. All right, stop hogging me. All the way over here? Wow, that road actually works. I had no idea. And, you know, we should probably get this road built, too. That's good. Okay. And then what about a road to this jetty? I think so. Uh, we're going to go a road to here, too. All the way to the market and around the market. Like that. 
So here, incoming sandstorm. Let's see. So right now we have 40, 24, 41, and 43. Sandstorm blows in. And we end up with 300 in each of these. Pretty much. Yeah, that's a lot of scrap collected. Wow. This, those are so strong. Those are so strong. Oh, you know what we got to do here. I mean, you know what we got to do. I've got to have more of these placed in here. Like, we got to put in, like, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to put in six of these suckers. <laughs> and then this, having traveled very far to get things, understandably, uh, we will instead make another scrapyard. Or maybe we'll just make this one do it. This one's running. Eh, they're running all the way over here, though. But we can make another scrapyard, and we'll just have them focus on this. A big grid of them. We'll even do more than this. Like, why not? Let's just go. Let's go nuts. Let's go really nuts. We'll make nine of these. That is so many resources, and I feel confident that it's going to be worth it in the end. And then we're going to make another scrapyard. We'll put that scrapyard right next to this scrapyard we already have, right? This ought to do just fine. Oh, did you move on me? You moved on me. Right when I went to place it, it moved over one. There you go, right here. All right. Let's connect this up with the paved roads, logistics, all that stuff, right? We want to make sure this is all... All smooth traveling. It's like we're farming for scrap right here. This is a scrap farm. Okay? And it is amazing. It is going to be so good. This is like, hey, drought. Good to see you. Would you care to drop 2,000 scrap in my lap, please? Yep, we got it. Good. I don't think the effectiveness of these actually goes away with, with distance either. Like, it seems like it's just... A flat 300 maximum, you know? We're gonna test it, because I think that's what it is, but we're gonna test it. This goes all the way that way, but I also want you to come down like that. Okay, excellent. And it doesn't require any manpower to grab it, really, so all we need are, you know, five people here to just go back and forth in this little area and get scrap constantly. That's gonna be so powerful. I can't wait. Um, the other thing is I wanted to test my grid. So I'm only 66 up on the grid. I think we need to also look at and consider maybe another couple of solar collectors. And I've been looking for a spot, and I think I want to put it right here. So I will. Yeah, right here. One there. And also we can put another one right here next to this. I would have liked to have put it here, actually. But now I put that scrapyard here, so whatever. Maybe I don't put the scrapyard there. Maybe I just put this off to the side, because I can. Let's do that instead. We've just been contacted by several explorers from another settlement. They're making their way back from the expedition. That thing again, huh? Wow. And you're going to give me more seeds. Just keep making them. Just keep making the rations. It's fine. All right, so... The one thing I did like kind of about Aftermath was the fact that it kind of gave us a priority system. Um, right here, everything feels like it's a little equal weighted. Also, we can just get like a ton more builders, like 70 builders. It, we still have like, it's, I'll go 75 builders and like 105 settlers. Let's get a bunch more water carriers too, because why not? 70 water carriers. We'll get 25 scrap collectors. Um, we're good on most things, but I think I want to up the tailors now. And uh, let's make sure we stay up on... Herbs are fine. Coal. We need more miners. Miner right here. More coal mines. And how's that coal mine doing, actually? You are producing, but we are, f like, broke. We are, like, super broke on coal. So we should look at that. I think we will look at that now. Um, let's get another coal mine. Where is it? Resources, right? Yeah, mine. Can I get another mine right here? 
This pole is gonna be yeah, that pole's gonna suck. Let's let's demolish that. And then I want to put this mine right here. As soon as we move that pole. Anybody want to move the pole? Anybody? Anybody at all? Bueller. 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 Come on. Come on now. You can do it. Just take care of the pole. Somebody. Anybody. There you go. Good. Thank you. And we'll put this right here. Another mine right here. This is going to get us even more coal. Build this next. And then temporarily, we'll go ahead and put people on the charcoal kiln. I haven't been really staffing anybody here, but for now, we'll put those three people there. And we just need to build, what, another 12 of these expedition rations? It's a piece of cake. As long as my production limit isn't too low. Which, I mean, it's, I mean, it's pretty close, but it's not too low. I'm going to up it to 300 just because. No, I don't think I need to do that. 250 is fine. We'll up it when we have to up it, not when, not when the game wants me to up it. Ooh, contaminated rains. Okay, we're starting to drop in food. Noticing it going down. If we get this other, uh, this other seed, that'd be awesome. But we also need to address the uh, the elephant in the room, and that is that our food is now at forty four thousand, which makes sense considering our population has gone up substantially since I started this video. <laughs> We've gained uh, our population has jumped twenty percent since I started this video. So uh, yeah, our food production has not jumped twenty percent to match it. Illness is gradually getting out of hand. Yada yada yada. Uh, maybe we put some more farms right here, or. We get some more hunting. I think we will get some more hunting. Or some gathering, too. Gathering is good. Let's go gathering uh, on this side. Put it right here. And then I want Hunter's Lodge to be right over here. And then we should go fishing on the dock over here. We should go fishing by the dock right over here. Let's go right like uh, like that. And we can go fishing over here like. Hmm. Hello, diagonals. So good of you to join us. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, what about over here? Right there. We'll go there too. Um, do we have another? We, maybe we need another kitchen. I think maybe we're gonna get another kitchen. There's already a kitchen on this side of town. Maybe we'll put another kitchen over here on this side. I think so. And it's gonna be connected to power. So we'll pop it right there. Okay, let's get to work on that, and then maybe some farms too. Honestly, like I think cultivated fields, and orchards. They're really good, and I'm not gonna like waste this. So how about we just put a little field like here, and then another one, we'll put it right like here. Let's say this is a little bigger one. And then do we want an irrigator for this? I guess so. I guess so. We'll do an irrigator here. And then we will do more fields. I think we'll do a little bit on the side. Maybe right about here. About like that. It's a pretty big field. And then another one on this side. About like this. It's a pretty good sized field too. And then connect this up with the with the road like this. Right? And of course, it's getting its water from this side over here. Alright. That's, uh, that's good. So we're going to have a lot more food now. I like it. This is what I've been told them to build this next, so hopefully we get that coal. Expeditions are done. They gave us another seed. I kind of want to see what that is. What is the seed? What seed is it? Is it for our orchards? Yes. We have apple trees. Finally, apples. Something other than pears. Are you guys happy? You're no longer going to have to be... Like, there's your sole fruit. The only fruit you have is pears. It's the only fruit they've ever known. I mean, it's kind of bad. 
And now we can have more. We can have different things, okay? Courtesy of those wonderful explorers. This thing wants me to build another medical facility. Gosh, really? Screw that, man. Like, just screw that, man. Why do you want me to do that all the time? Every time you do this challenge, you're like, hey, build a new medical facility. No, I don't need it. I refuse this. I don't want to do let's do it. I'm just going to fail it, and you're going to be mad at me for no reason. Ugh, I don't want you mad at me, though. I want to, I want to fill this bar to full happiness. Fine. I, I'm going to delete it as soon as this is built. I'm going to, I'm going to remove this. Is it worth it? Not even worth it. Ugh, whatever. We'll put it back here. Whatever. All right. This orchard. Apple trees. So what's the difference here? Pears give you 312 food in two and a half seasons. And apples give you 456 food in four seasons. So it takes longer to grow. Gives you higher yield. But mostly I think it's it's just different. It's just something different. And we're going to do it because it's different. There we go. This field, we want to grow, let's say, pot squash. Squash can go here, and then we can do maybe, I don't know, tomatoes or something over here. Because we don't have a whole lot for tomatoes either. And then, you know, we could probably do some more pubs. Eh. The kitchen's connected to power. That makes me feel good. Hunting lodge. I need you to have something to hunt. Surely there's... Wow, look at all the game over here. It's a shame that it's not right here. There's just nothing to hunt here, though. So you're going to go over there for now. It's food, so... And then we'll have more people on the farming. Let's do tomatoes here. 448 food in a half a season. That's what it says. Yeah. Potatoes are so good. Actually, squash is really powerful, too. Squash is basically the same as... Squash may be better than potatoes. It's very close. But if you can maintain it, tomatoes are really good, too. As long as you can have people constantly using it, it's pretty good. Let's make sure our, our irrigator is on at least medium. Keep it going. And the medical... F I, I, I don't want to do this, man. <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. I want to stop clicking on these things. Major portion of the food reserves of stockpile is contaminated. Yeah, that's fine. This is the uh, contamination kit thing, right? Yeah. We'll just keep... Uh, we'll keep making that. That's okay. Hey, what's up, coal mining? Let's do coal mining, please. Bump up the number of people mining to 20. Let her rip. All right. Good. Because we got tons of iodine. We're, we're all right with that. Well, I mean, okay, never mind. We had tons of iodine. We no longer have tons of iodine, but we had tons of iodine. She is back again. This woman cannot... Okay, you are obsessed, okay? Guys, sometimes... Sometimes you meet a woman, and she's obsessed. Okay. I know this from personal experience. Kappa. And when that happens, you got to let them down. All right? Find a way to let them down. So they won't keep coming back and bugging you. And in, in this case, I'm going to take all of her rad suits and all of her plastic. And I'm going to give her things that aren't just aren't that good. Okay? And she's going to be like, what? what? What is this? I know, right? It's not that good. I don't want to give her all my meds, though. So, no. Apparently, this time, I can't. I can't have all of it. But I can remove the plastic a little bit. I really don't want to give her food either. Honestly, I'm sorry, lady. I, I just don't want your stuff right now. Okay? I, I, I wish you the best. All right? But um, I, I just I don't want your stuff right now. I don't want to give you the coal. Uh, no, I don't want to give you any joints. I don't want to give you anything. I You're, you're okay. Sorry, trader. Goodbye. Bye. I know you travel all this way, but you you try you, you trade with me too often, is what it is. Oh, look at her take off though. Oh, look at this. What is this? Let me let me see your let me see your balloon. 
Well, that's pretty freaking cool. That's what you travel in? That's awesome. You got like this little the little prop in the back spinning. Pushing you the way you want to go. That's pretty cool. <laughs> kind of reminds me a little bit of Up, you know? Oh my god, look at this though. <gasps> the balloon over top of our... Oh, that's so good. Our scrap, our scrap farms are done. This is awesome. Okay, you. Your field of work is right here. Yes, right here. Yes, very good. <laughs> right here. Now we've got these two solar panels put in, but they're not connected to the grid. So we got to connect them up too. Let's get the poles connect them right about like this should be good and then we'll have this go across uh i kind of want to keep it uh i'll just go along the road i guess there and then it connects to it like that and then like that and then like uh this yep this and then like this that connects the whole thing and then we also want to connect the scrap yard and stuff we haven't done that i haven't done that either so let's get the scrap yard and stuff hooked up to the grid too oh my gosh this is amazing what about another battery let's get another battery we'll put it right here right up we'll just hook it up right up in here I can't, I honestly want, I, I want one now. I want it to, to do the sand, the sand thing, right? Cause like there's tons of scrap here and now we've got a, a scrap yard that's dedicated to just going back and forth in here. And they've got roads they can travel with too. You know, they got fast travel to all of this. Screw this, man. We're going like this. Where is it? Resources right here. We're going, on, we're going again. I'm greedy. It's just, it's too easy. We're never going to be out of scrap. We're going to raise our scrap storage limit to like 10,000. Okay. And then I'm going to put in, uh, let's go, I don't know, resources. Where is it? It's logistics, right? Yeah. Upgraded warehouse. We're going to put in additional warehouses to store the scrap. Okay. So we'll have one here. And then I want to have another one. Put in kind of off at the side here, off of the back like this. Two additionals, right? Paved roads take you all the way over like so. All right, and these are just big. These are just big warehouses, and they're gonna score store all the scrap. Yes, here it comes. Bring on the sandstorm, baby! Oh, uh, look at this. Hold on. How much scrap do we have? 121, 115, 130, 185. Okay, so like there's a lot. I think you guys are gonna redirect your field to here as well. You know what? All scrap yards, all, all of you. Yeah, you also direct your field of work to here as well. I have 15 people doing scrap in just this area and watch as the magic unfolds. The sand sweeps over the land and it gives us a present. <laughs> a 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300. Soon to be 300. <laughs> oh my God, this just gave us, uh, what is this? Like 2,700 scrap and one big whoosh. Uh, we could do literally anything we want with this, can't we? We should have this. This should be in every single civilization. These things are way too good. <laughs> They're so good. All right. So others are sick. Still not maxed out here, though. No way. Is she back again? You have... How do I get rid of you? How do I get rid of you? You keep introducing yourself like you've never been here before. All right, look, look, lady. All right, I'm gonna give you a shitty deal and you're gonna like it. This is your shitty deal right here. Take your, take your shitty deal and never come back. <laughs> That's the same woman every time. Now, I know you can actually choose who you wanna barter with, but I've never done that. 
I've never chosen who it is. So perhaps I have to choose. Otherwise, it will just default to her. I want the other dudes. I want some other cool people. All right. She's just, she's just hogging me for herself. I have a stalker in this game. Her name is Susan Malfi. Power poles, power poles. Right here. And then here. And then to here. Yeah, we also want to come through this way. Yep, and then come through like this. And then we'll hook up to the grid there. There. And then uh, there. And there. And maybe this way too. Why not? All the way over, and then we hook up to this one. Good. All right, so I think when all these poles are built, at that point, the whole base, I think the whole base is connected to, to power and all to the same power grid, I think. And then we're going to get these roads brought in all the way over here. Yeah, I want, I need the, the good roads all the way up here. Good, they're already halfway built that way. And then we'll also do it this way. And then also over this way. Like so. Beautiful. Okay. Then we'll put an upgraded warehouse. I think I'm going to put one right here next to this. Just in case. So they can take it to here and then the other logistics people can take care of it from the rest of it. And then I think, um, I think I'll put another where this is a warehouse right here, right? Yeah. Upgrade that. All right. Cool. What are we at now for population total? Actually, I think we've maxed out. Can you max out on research? We have like more research than we ever need. I'm going to do the hemp weaving mill and then diligence. And that's kind of it. After that, we've taken the whole tech tree, man. Can you feel it? I feel like we conquered end zone, huh? Way smoother than the first time. But this time I had experience. Last time I didn't have experience before I played, right? It, there's a difference between a blind play and knowing what you're doing, right? It goes so super smoothly when you know what you're doing. This, this is strong. I also think they've rebalanced the game to make it easier. I, I do think that. And so that's why I think maybe I, when I wasn't expecting, I didn't know the balance going into this. I think maybe I should have chose a harder difficulty too. Probably would have, that probably would have been wise as well. Cause I mean, look at our civilization, man. <laughs> we got everything under control. There's no drama other than you know, I wanted to go to the nuclear place. So why don't we do that? Why don't we say that when we raid the nuclear power plant right here, see researching new technologies is already done. So all I need to do is get this It's motivation. <laughs> oh, uh, I don't, I don't know how many of you guys know. I, 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 I was, I listened to all sorts of music and uh, like maybe a half an hour before recording this video, I heard uh, TI. I was, I had some TI on the, on Alexa and, uh, <laughs> motivation was playing. And now, now that as soon as I said this, I was just immediately, I was like motivation <laughs> anyway. Um, so we're going to have, uh, the nuclear power plant. We're going to do that. And then it looks like the furniture store right next to it too. So, um, why don't we get started on some expeditions? This one doesn't require us to be super young. So this one deals with a store. The lettering, my home is my castle, is emblazoned on a sign out front, which had probably been the slogan at the time when things re revolved around having your own home. The luxury of decorating our end zone with all kinds of chic furniture, chic furniture, and other objects was naturally something we didn't have. But maybe we'll find sufficient materials here to turn our settlement into a little castle of our own too. Fine. Let's configure this. And uh, we just want to have the right people for the job. So we'll grab you. Um, let's make sure we get a miner as well. Oozers. 
You guys are uh, all the same badge. Oh, wait, I don't need any. There's no miner. These are tools, dumbass. Right here. There we go. And then uh, also bring this with you. And then we'll just bring, I don't know, bring some really, really young people. Okay. So they can get a badge. I don't know. Bring you guys. Just the three of you. Can you think you think you can haul the whole store? We'll bring a fourth just because. Just because. Just in case and just because mixed together. That's just because. Now you know. If you didn't know before, now you know. We're going to take six packs with us. Go. All right. Cool. I'm going to leave this video here, I think. Um, we have not quite solved our food deficit. It is dropping a little bit. You can notice. Um, I can probably assign more farmers. This may help it a little bit to make sure that all of our farms are always maintained. We have a ton of regular settlers. So I'm thinking also we can probably reduce scrap collection, to be honest, just because like, you know, we got those catchers. <laughs> our scrap is already up to 5,600 now. So uh, we can, we got plenty of meds. Uh, we're out of the iodine pills. So maybe we pump the medics. And then we can shift some of these, like this medical facility here. We can shift you to iodine tab tablets. As long as we have sufficient coal supply, I don't have a problem with, you know, moving these things to iodine. But I also think because of our, uh... wait, what? Failed mission tasks. Not good news at all, Steve. Our settlers ought to be, ought to be exposed to as little radiation as possible. What did I fail? I didn't even know I was on a mission. <laughs> That's so much I'm paying attention to it. Uh, yeah, and then iodine is maxed out, right? So we don't even need that anymore. It's just it's just about whether or not you can you can make it. Um, these guys are already making iodine tablets too. So we'll just max every job out basically. Let them do their thing. And uh, decontaminators as well. Just to get that done. Logistics people, we can bump them up to like 45. Why not? Builders are still at 75. We can bump the water carriers up to max. And you know what? Our food situation might just be solved now. And we're not even fully staffing the cookhouse. We should do that too. There you go. See? Now the kitchen's fully staffed as well. It's gonna be a thing, guys. I'm gonna leave it here. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you. We'll do the nuclear power plant. Uh, maybe like a video or two from now. I think I'll take care of the furniture store um, myself. And then maybe the next video we'll do this one. We're pretty close to the end. Of end zone um you know once you you get to that point right where everything is kind of you know how when do we end it how far can we go do i get to a thousand colonists before i call it quits yeah maybe but it's gonna be a lot of expansion and it's all kind of a lot of the same right we've got great food variety i mean we don't have all the seeds i i do maybe think it'd be cool to get all the seeds but like eh, eh i don't know anyway thank you for watching i appreciate you we'll see you next time Bye bye